salatu wa salam ashrafa mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi ya Rasuli Kareem, Khabib al-Azim Madad ya Sayyidi ya Sultani al-Awliya wa Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani Sultani al-Awliya wa Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani Sultani al-Awliya wa Muhammad al-Azim Haqqani Mawlana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad al-Adha, Mawlana Khaliq al-Khushdawani Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam ثم سيدنا أبو بكر الصديق سيدنا عمر سيدنا عثمان إمام الحسن عليه السلام إمام الحسين عليه السلام سيداتنا فاطمة عليه السلام وسائر سداتنا وصدقين الفاتحة دونينا من جعل رسول الكريم بماذا ذكرنا لكم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولد أمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and how the Qur'an is a da'ifu, miskinu, zahran of jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we still in existence and alhamdulillah we had a, last night a, a bit deep and always in this way is meant for the soul and not uh, necessarily the physicality of people and for different spiritual beings and different spiritual realities, the teachings and the knowledges that may be heavy for people to understand and we pray that Allah protect us from becoming confused and anytime we hear something we don't understand <coughs> the training is to do our tafakkur and people whom have been professionally educated through universities and school systems designed from the west their process of learning is to question to I don't know if it's called deductive reasoning but to continue to ask questions, 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 why, why, why. But this path of haqqaiqs because the dunya subjects no problem if that's how they want uh, things to be taught and this is how their structure. The dunya has haqqaiqs. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Kayaks require the training of the servant in which to turn off their head and activate the heart. And as soon as they understand that they're entering into a spiritual association they train themselves that La ilaha illallah by shutting off the head and opening the power of the heart, making their madad, making the connection and then entering into the association whether you're watching it live in person or later on on rebroadcast whoever tunes in at whatever time. Same system to have wudu, to make your connection and ask Allah to cut the head and open the heart. That to turn off my head and that the abode of shaitan is going to try to pick and debate the head about every reality. And if any know, anybody knows just a little bit then that little bit can be quite dangerous because shaitan will play with what little somebody knows and keep putting into these subject matters but what about that and why, why is like this and why is like that? 
And that's why the first zikr of all tariqahs is, La ilaha illallah and they bring that light into their head, La that this reality is not meant for my head, ilaha illallah that nothing but Allah into the heart and it's a system of turning off the head that cutting access to where shaitan enters is the brain of people. And this way is based on the heart in which Allah is describing that, my throne is upon the heart of people, my home is upon the heart of people. And to understand that what Allah gave us of an immense gift of this physical heart. And within that heart is a beat of energy what we call qudra. But when there's no point of reference people think of it like an electricity, a pulse, a vibration that's occurring and it's not from us, it's not from the earth, it's not from anything that we're plugged into. That in itself is miraculous that we are completely wireless creation powered by Allah and that very energy and pulse of energy, the continuous flow of qudra and energies that are entering into the heart, for us it is the Divinely Presence. To attune to it, to access it, to contemplate it, to nourish it, to magnify it and that reality is our whole mission in life. The one whom wuqufu qalb who's vigilant over their heart is vigilant over that flame, that energy. That when they understand and they hear these realities that, oh my goodness Allah is closer to us, Allah's qudra is powering us. And you know you can live without a head but you can't live without a heart. And at any time Allah can turn the heart off and they say, oh this person's heart stopped, nobody can bring it back. If Allah wants will allow to come back so they come with an electrical pulse and begin to charge the heart, they stand clear, why? Because you're going to get electrocuted and they have to put in a current back into the heart. And that's by permission of Allah because many they hit one time, two time, you can hit twenty times, they're not coming back. If Allah wants it to come back as an isharat and a guidance and a message to show how frail we are. And that's that concept that it's actually a flame and that flame makes us to be a lamp. Those who nourish it, respect it try to empower it, they become a very powerful lamp. One that they illuminate themselves because if you don't have a lamp you're pretty much in darkness and that what we call ignorant people whom chosen a life in which to nourish their head because they can be very intelligent or they can be very smart but they're not wise at all. They nourish their head but they have no light within the heart. And for what purpose? They walk the earth in darkness because just reading books and memorizing understandings that don't illuminate the heart, they don't give good character because the knowledge is that teach us of the heavens teach us of good character, teach us of a Divinely eternal reality, illuminate. They give power to that light, to that flame. Knowledge is for dunya on how you're going to make your money in dunya. Knowledge is that end with our dunya and our material life absolutely have no contribution to that light and to the light of eternity.
So it means then our life is to build that flame. And then when we understand that this is the Divine, the presence Allah has given to us. And when we nourish it we realize when Allah says, I'm closer to you than your jugular vein because I'm the very energy within your heart pushing the blood into your head. Your blood is flowing because of the power that I put into your heart and the very beat that moves into your heart is my Divinely Presence. So imagine then the people whom their life is external and they never stop to think that Allah is so close to us, His Divinely Presence is given to us. They're busy with their prayers thinking there's an outward movement, they're praying to go somewhere. They're pres- they become busy with their actions and worshipness to go somewhere in a physical plane when in reality Allah gave inside. That those whom when they make their salah their journey is inside. That as soon as they say, Allahu Akbar they're inside their heart and their journey is to the presence of that flame and to pray within that qudra, to pray within that light. For the true house of Allah is the heart of the one whom believes when he nourishes the light fortifies the light, protects that light. His whole life or her life, their lives are based on that light. Every day, Ya Rabbi let it to be stronger and don't make my flame to diminish. What is it that I can do to safeguard that light? When it seems that everything around us is geared towards extinguishing that light. Everything we watch is as if somebody blowing on the light because that's all the shaitan wanted. I will attack from six directions these servants and every attack is attack against that light. What they see with their eyes as if somebody blowing on their light. What they eat with their mouth as if somebody blowing on their light and every action that they're trying to do as if somebody blowing out that light and although they wish to extinguish the light of Allah they never can. And our life is to nourish that light. Then the tariqah comes and teaches us that if you have that vigilance and you have that love for the Divinely Presence, Thy Kingdom come and Thy will be done. They realize the Kingdom of God is in my heart and its evidence is prevalent within me, it's beating, it's not hidden, it's not something I have to guess. It's the very force that keeps me alive and my life is how to fortify that reality. Then they came into our lives and taught us with the king of that kingdom, the one whom Allah created to represent and to guide us, to show us the realities of Allah I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. That one is Sayyidina Muhammad And with our durood the sharif, with our salawats and our good actions, watching the exemplar of faith, following the sunnah of the exemplar of faith, following in the laws of the exemplar of faith, what happens then to that light? It's now becoming stronger. With every Dulul Sharif the light burns more intense. With every action of love you feel the presence of Prophet entering within your heart, making His light 
inside the heart of the believer that to move your light aside and let my eternal light, my fortified light, my beatific light to enter into your heart and at that point Allah describing how I can punish them. When you are amongst them and they're asking for forgiveness because the shaykhs train people that fortify that light with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad it is of a Divinely light. With the salawat, with the durood, with all the good characteristics the light becomes strong and becomes blessed. Dresses the servant with their hearing because imagine now this light is, blue, is, is glowing within their heart, they're becoming Muhammadiyoon, Muhammadun Rasulullah occupy the heart of believers and as a result the hadith al-Qudsi is opening that they hear with my hearing. Why? Because Muhammadun Rasulullah is the hadith al-Qudsi. He is the one whom Allah talking about, He hears with my hearing, He sees with my seeing, He speaks with my tongue, His hands, my hands are upon His hands, His qadam and His footsteps are the footsteps of the way in the path, Siratul Mustaqeem. That very light of Muhammadun Rasulullah when it began to occupy the servant that is the opening of that hadith al-Qudsi. Because if Muhammadun Rasulullah flame begins to occupy the servant's heart that very flame opens their hearing, that very flame of light and Divinely Presence opens their seeing. That very flame opens the power in their hands and the hands of which move upon them is the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah's hand upon their hands and their feet and the qadam and the movement of their life, their path towards the Divinely Presence is Siratul Mustaqeem. Means there can be no greater honour than the dress of that light and the illumination of that light and the purpose of our existence. And via that light and that reality every reality is flowing from that. The spring of all creation and all realities flows from that blessed heart. From the oceans of La ilaha illallah hit into the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah and every reality begins to flow from its reality. We pray that Allah give us a greater understanding and to meditate, contemplate and to make tafakkur for the infinite capacity of the heart to open and not the, the finite capacity of a small brain. This is not the way of a small brain, this is the way of the infinite capacity of the heart in which has no limit, no left and no right, no up and no down. That if Allah expand it, its expansion is infinite. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. So what we have from our SMC family online and mashaAllah all their support, all the shares, all the everything everyone's trying to do and, and alhamdulillah Allah give more and more power to everyone and more and more himma and uh, make uh, beautiful images, AIs, make uh, videos and, and give support and uh, spread the charity links, spread the store links, spread the articles, spread the AI and its answers mashaAllah. Allah bless everyone and dress everyone, alhamdulillah. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
This is Sheikh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.